last time you had asked me one question that is to find out the square feet of one handrail which is having a length of 500 centimeter and height of 120 centimeter I told you up to this much that time because of some technical failure video had been stopped whatever I told its remaining calculations I will teach you now so last time we were trying to find out area of handrail if we find out the square feet that is a area if you find out meter square that is a area if you find out a centimeter square that is a area if you find out millimeter square that is a area if you find out square feet that is a area for finding out area we have to use the formula length into width this L represents length and width represents W ok always use the formula L into W then we can find out area ok L means length approximate one rectangular I have drawn here if it is its length 90 degree one line has to be drawn from its one end that is the width from this end also one line has been drawn in 90 degree that is width from here to here is its width and from here to here it is its length from here to here is its length so your question is 500 centimeter and last time I had slightly scolded you and I told you this is the question related with the fabrication so don't ask me questions in centimeter and all questions have to be asked in millimeter because fabrication work has to have accuracy last time I had told you about it so I don't describe about it now and I don't spoil time so your question was 500 centimeter length and 120 centimeter height I just converted it into millimeter 500 centimeter when I convert into millimeter it becomes 5000 mm how did how does we get this for uh, this measurement one centimeter is 10 mm everybody knows about it if one centimeter is 10 mm two if one centimeter is 10 mm two centimeter will be 20 mm what is the formula we multiply this measurement centimeter measurement with 10 or we add one zero then we get so if it is 500 centimeter we add one more zero or we multiply it with 10 then we get 5000 mm this is 120 centimeter we can add one more zero then it becomes 1200 or with uh, with this 120 we can multiply with 10 then also we get 1200 mm then if we multiply this if we use this formula area is equal to length into width we will multiply this length mm and this width mm this is 5000 mm this is 1200 mm if you multiply these two we will get answer in millimeter square only but your question is it has to be got in square feet so first of all we have changed this centimeter into millimeter and what we have to do we know the formula is length into width L into W L into W length into width if we multiply length into width we will get its area area means the area which is lying in between these four lines four lines are there 
and inside of these four lines how many materials are here 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 all materials measurement is material is called area but if you take the measurement from here to here plus here to here plus here to here plus here to here that won't be area that will be perimeter it can be studied in next episode okay now we can study that area is length into width l into w length into width this width in some places we can't say width because i shall say one example this is a book if we have to find out the area of this side we will use the formula length into width this is length this is width and if we have to find out the area of this side if we have to find out the area of this side then length is there we won't say it is width we will say it is thickness only so i wrote somewhere we will say width but some places we will say thickness and thing one job is there which is in this vertical position then we have to find out the area of this side this side then it is having one length that is this is its length and this vertical length we will say about it is height so this formula length into width always there will be one length 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 but this width can be told thickness or height or breadth anything there's nothing to remember you have to remember there will be one rectangle in that rectangle one line will be there that is called length and one line will be moving to downside or upside that will be in 90 degree for that we can say that is width or we can say it is height or we can say it is breadth or we can say thickness any name we can say length into width or length into height length into breadth length into thickness any name we can say but always remember from length there should be a line which which has to be in 90 degree this 90 degree line has to have one parallel line from the end of the line end of the length wherever we have drawn then it will be reaching in one same point because with this width and this width is same these two width end points has to be marked by one line then this length and this length will be parallel and one rectangle will be formed so length into width is the formula of finding out the area or length into height is the formula for finding out the area or length into breadth is the formula for finding out the area or length into thickness is the formula for finding out the area okay now we are going to find out square feet you asked me to teach you about the square feet so i am teaching you about the square feet only i don't teach you about millimeter square or meter square or centimeter square okay square feet most of the time the square feet the word square feet is written in this form sq dot ft what is this millimeter square this millimeter into this millimeter then two millimeters are multiplied then we will say millimeter square if we multiply millimeter into millimeter we will say millimeter square if it was feet and this one also also feet feet into feet then it will become feet square feet square and square feet both are same 
millimeter square and square meter both are same once again i repeat the word feet square is related with square feet both are same meaning like that millimeter square is related with square mm square millimeter both are same meaning i have to return here square millimeter but you remember it okay square feet always somebody has said doubt what is this foot and feet foot is a singular word singular if there is only one foot we can say that is foot but this foot is more than one means two or three or more than that we you we have to use its plural form foot is singular name and its plural word is feet so if we have to say about two we will have to say two feet don't say two for two one foot and so many feet two feet three feet four feet five feet hundred feet thousand feet we can say feet but if it is only one we can say one foot so one foot is 304.8 mm 1 mm means 